Good afternoon. Happy Easter. Welcome to Two Self Stitchers. This is our episode number 53. I'm Carol. This is my daughter Jennifer and we're delighted to be here with you today. We've had a couple of busy weekends and another one coming up and we had a break today so we thought we'd try and film and, and say hi to you guys. Yeah, when we were talking last time and said we would be back late, we forgot there was an extra weekend in there. So yeah. This worked out well. We're on our normal schedule every three weeks. I guess so. Yeah. I guess so. Oh, it's been a busy time. <laughs> I'm still catching up. She's young. I'm old. I'm still catching up. <laughs> but she has got a house full of people. So uh, it's been great. Hope everything's going well with all you guys. Hope you're having a good day with your families if you're celebrating Easter with them. Um, unfortunately, no one's around to have an Easter egg hunt. We had one several years ago with the mm -hmm. kids. It was really fun when we had our dog Annie and we had put out colored plastic eggs with, with it was really funny, with stickers and coins yeah. and jelly beans. And then we also put out some hard boiled colored eggs. So while the kids were going around, Annie was going around finding all the hard boiled eggs and yeah. eating them. And we were, she was running after us. Annie, Annie, don't eat Stop. the eggs. And she was running around. Yeah. And then Jack was going around and he quickly figured out that if he shook the egg, it had something in it. That he if wanted, he could hear it. If he could yeah. hear it. But if it was a sticker or something, he just dropped it back on the yeah. ground and picked up another one. And if, it, if it, either meant it was money or yeah. jelly beans. Yeah. So it was really funny to watch him. What was he? Probably four or five. He wasn't that old. He was maybe, yeah, four yeah. at the yeah. most. Yeah. 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 It was so yeah. funny. I mean, just this little kid. Oh, okay. No, I don't want that one. <laughs> no stickers for him. Yeah. He went on and on. But yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, my so. kids still had Easter baskets to wake up to this oh, morning. Oh, did they? Well, yes. nobody brought anybody but an Easter basket here. Yeah. If Alex were still here, I was thinking about doing yeah. something, but didn't. So we'd like to thank our new and returning viewers and thank new subscribers. Yeah, we have had a lot of new subscribers since our last episode. So thank you for all who have hit the subscribe button and welcome. <laughs> We've had a couple other people mention us who I think have sent new viewers over here. So thanks a lot thank for you. coming and especially thanks to those who mentioned us. And I'll just mention a few of our new subscribers. Uh, Thunder Giggles, Susan, Teresa, Caroline, <coughs> Nerdy Stitcher, me too. Uh, Denise, Dana, Charlotte, and Amanda, and many others. Welcome. Thank you so much for subscribing yeah. to our channel. And we had mentions from several Floss Tubers, uh, Cornhusker State Stitchers. Hi, Terry and Jamie, and we'll see them next week because they're coming yeah. to our retreat. Yay! Mm -hmm. Chris, the Camping Stitcher, Untwist Your Stitches Rose, Stitching Scotty, who is also coming to our retreat, so yeah. that'll be exciting to meet her. Potty Mouth Stitcher, I'd love to meet her. And <laughs> Hoppies of Holly has been to our retreat before, but will yeah. not be coming this time. Hi, Holly. Yeah. Hope oh, things are going well with Graham. We, we send good, strong wishes for him all the time. Mm -hmm. And then also, we had several people who came into the store. So <laughs> this has been our greeting time. Yeah. Um, BJ came in. And Lori, and when Lori said, how's Cindy? I said, you must watch my floss too. <laughs> and she, what she told me, she's a, a, a animal dermatologist, a, a derma. Oh, I yeah. know. Yeah. 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 You know, I hope I, I said that right. Yes. 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 Uh, DVM. She's a veterinary dermatologist. That's yes. it. Yeah, I'll get it. Yes. I'll get it. But anyway, she told me that Cindy, my new dog, is a white cream golden retriever. And I did it a little checking. And they actually started in England and they're, they're shorter. And that was one thing they told me when we got her, that she, yeah. she had shorter legs. Well, that's why. I don't know that mm -hmm. they know that there's a difference where we got her from, <laughs> but now I do. And, and she's a little stockier and, um, and she's very white compared to a, a, yeah. a golden. Mm -hmm. And, and Laurie showed me a picture of her goldens and one of them was gold and one of them could have been Cindy's brother. Oh, so that was nice. kind of neat. And then um, also uh, Cynthia and her husband came down from Chicago. It was great to meet you, Cynthia, and your husband. And I've slept since then, and I'm sorry I can't remember his name, but it was great chatting with you guys. And we have something to, that Cynthia gave us that we'll show you later. And then also Kathleen from my Stitch Crew came, and I got to meet her husband. And Nancy from my Stitch Crew came in. Everybody was picking up market stuff. Yeah, oh, it's been yeah. busy. Busy, yeah. busy. Good. We've sold out a lot of stuff at market, which means we did, we did well. We did a good job, yes. <laughs> Lots of reorders coming in. So that's great. Yeah. So today is the quilt of the day and it belongs to Jennifer. Yes. And go so for I'll it. talk about it. Yeah. Um, this quilt I finished in 2018 and it uh, goes on my daughter's bed. So she has two quilts that she flips back and forth on her bed. And this is the one that came off of it this morning. She went back to school today after her spring break. And so 
I grabbed it while the sheets were in the wash and thought I'll bring that for quilt of the day. Um, this is a French braid pattern. It was um, a paper pattern that came in the stash from my friend Lois, our friend Lois, who left me her quilt stash. And this was all kitted up. And I think even the pieces of the braid were cut or they were at least strips. Um, so I just started making this. This went to many, many quilt retreats with me because I used it as kind of a leader and ender product project. And I'd make one row at a time. And then the next retreat, I'd make another row. And it was a really fun one to make. And as I got close to the end, Jenna fell in love with it and asked if she could have it for her bed. And I said, of course. So it is, it's really shy of a twin size. Um, but she doesn't have a drop on her bed she has like a platform bed yeah, so it doesn't thing. matter that it doesn't hang over the foot or the sides um i quilted this one myself and i did just swirls all over it when you have a very busy quilt i think you, you don't need else. a busy no. quilting mm -hmm. pattern so it was just an all over i did freehand and I found a note that I finished this back in 2018. So um, <laughs> it's put a, nice a label one. on it. If you, I just realized there's something on it, but oh. came right off the bed. Like I said, um, <laughs> if this fabric looks familiar, it's because this is the third quilt I've made out of this fabric line. And all of the fabric came from Lois. Um, if you want to see the other quilts made from this fabric line, which I think was called Santorini, you can look at episode eight. Our quilt in the background is made oh, really? with a charm oh. pack from this fabric line. And then episode 26 has the quilt that was made with the layer cake. And then oh, this one was made with the jelly roll. So Lois really you liked like this, this line of fabric because she bought all three and I have since used all three. Oh, you used it all up? Or I think more. I've used, no, I think I've used everything up. There may be scraps but that would be all that's left. So wow. that's our quilt of the day. Yeah. Yeah. Neat. That was nice spring colors. Yep. Good spring colors and good memories of a wonderful friend who left us too soon. Yes. Life updates. Wow, do we have updates. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, it's been busy since we filmed last and uh, I'm still catching up. She's, you know, she's young. You can start. Yeah. Yeah. You're the one who was gone. I, so two weekends ago, I went to Charlottesville, Virginia. One of my good friends from college lives there and was in a play at the Four County Players. And so we took the opportunity for five of us to get together and spend a long weekend together. We had, we figured out we had not all been together in over 20 years. A lot of us had seen individuals yeah. over that time. They and were college I, friends. I had seen all of them, yeah. the, the four others at one point or another, but we hadn't been together in that long. So you were was, college friends, so it's been a while. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it was fantastic. We did a lot of sitting and talking and catching up and hearing about parents and kids and <laughs> jobs and all kinds of fun stuff and uh, trying to share some tips with each other about teenage drivers and college applications. <laughs> all of our kids, the oldest um, is in her early 20s. And the youngest is a freshman or sophomore in high school. I think a sophomore. So they're all pretty, pretty tight yeah. age range. Yeah. Uh, lots of similarities between the kids. So that was fun. So it was a really, really nice trip. We went to the Shenandoah um, National Forest, National Park, and drove the skyline, I think it's called, a beautiful drive right on top of the mountains. So you oh, can see wow. out both ways. I'll include a couple of pictures. Um, and it was just a really nice weekend to reconnect with friends. And you know, the great thing about friends that you have like that is you just get back together and pick up right where you left off. So lots of fun. And we had some great food out there too. So that was two weekends ago. And then last weekend, um, my daughter started her spring break and she flew into Chicago and I met her there. And we spent a couple of days being tourists in Chicago. We went to the Museum of Illusions, uh, the Willis Tower, Navy Pier, the best view in Chicago, uh, Lincoln Park Zoo. And then we spent most of a day um, <laughs> this is <funny>. chasing <laughs> spots and actors from the Chicago Fire TV show. We went to the firehouse, we went to the bar, 
and then we went and found where they were filming um, and we got to watch them actually film part of the show. So it was very fun and the biggest highlight from a cross stitch perspective is yeah. that we met up with Trisha and her daughter Lena and had dinner with them. Uh, many of you may know Trisha on Instagram. She's Preb409 and her daughter Lena is a stage manager. If you've been here a while, you know that my daughter is going to school to be a stage manager. Uh, many thanks to Lena. She has really been a great mentor for yes. Jenna. She's let her observe her when she's working. She's given her tons of tips. Um, and they just had a great talk. We learned a lot about what life is like after you graduate from yeah. college and work as a stage manager. But it was just an awesome night. Uh, we got there for dinner. I want to say around 630. And we shut down the restaurant. They were like, literally like sweeping up the floors and stuff. And we were like, oh, I guess we should leave. But we had such a great time. So hi, Trisha. Hi, Lena. Um, it was so fun to, for me to finally meet them both and for Jenna to reconnect with Lena and meet Trisha. So Jenna really liked that part, but she really liked the Chicago Fire part because she is addicted to that yes. show. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. It yeah. was very fun. Yeah. So That's we got home midweek and I had a um, kind of a big work presentation the morning after we got home so i worked the rest of the week and um meanwhile meanwhile <laughs> <laughs> well i was I doing was, all of that monday night i got this phone call about 10 o'clock from my son he said hi mom i said hi actually it was, it was facetime and i said what's new he said what are you doing this week and i said well not much he said how would you like company I said, why? <laughs> he said, well, Alex is on spring break of their three. He's the only one left at home and he's a freshman. And we just thought we'd come visit. Well, come visit. They live in Maryland, okay? Yeah. So I said, well, when are you going to come? He said, tomorrow. I said, okay. <laughs> so um, I uh, raced upstairs and made sure the beds were made. And then got to the store where I spent a lot of money and it's all gone in mm -hmm. his stomach. Mm -hmm. And um, they showed up Tuesday night about 11 with their dog, Penny, who is insane. She's a beautiful <laughs> brown lab. She's eight years old, but she acts like uh, she's six months old. She yeah. jumps and she's just crazy. So we were a little concerned about how she and Cindy would get along. They ignored each other. Um, the only things uh, uh, Penny did teach Cindy did teach Cindy how to pull stuffing out of, of dog toys. <laughs> she got very good at that. But it was so funny because she was tearing away and everything. And then after it was all over the floor and Cindy walked over and she was like, Bleh. Bleh. like she looked at her like, why are you eating this stuff? It's awful. <laughs> so Cindy did not like the stuffing out of the toys. And she has not done that since. But um, it was fine. We had a really fun time. Um, uh, Jenna and I wound up going to Stitch Group and she got to see all the friends at Stitch Group who were very surprised to see her because I had told them I wasn't coming because they were coming. And then um, on Friday, I did go to work and um, and Eric got several things done. He put a screen that fell off my window. He put that back up. Climbing up on the ladder was watching scary. And, and he just did a few things that it's yeah. challenging for me to do. And so it was great, great help. And um, Susan was great. She got the tiger fixed. On yeah. the display case. Oh, good. Yeah, it works now. And so, yeah, so it was really good. And they left yesterday morning. And on the way home, they stopped in Columbus, Ohio for lunch. And Penny, being the exuberant animal that she is, Susan was taking her across the parking lot to pee over to the grass. And there were geese around. And I don't know if any of you have been around these bloody Canadian geese. Jennifer loves them. No. But uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, this one goose got very offended that Penny was crossing her parking lot. And put her wings up and hawked and squawked and everything, and then came over and bit her on the nose. So Penny was most excited to get back in her kennel <laughs> and get in the car. And Susan said, even now, she, she kind of is a little hesitant when she's looking around. Yeah. So yeah, it's not often that the poor dog got attacked by the geese, but yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, so yeah, that was that, but it was fun. It was a good visit. We had a good time. We went, we had, um, Oh, we had Chinese here one mm -hmm. night. What did we do another night? You went to the brewery. Oh, we went to the Moon Town, and um, mm -hmm. what did we do the first night? I was that know. the Chinese? No, I wasn't here. I don't know what we did. Well, they got here really late. Yeah, but Wednesday night, I'm trying to think what we did because Jenna stayed for dinner. Was that when we ordered Chinese? No, I don't. Remember. I don't know what we did, but yeah. anyway, mm -hmm. we 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 had a lot of food in the house, a yeah. lot of food, and, and most of it was eaten. Yes. Yeah. Yes, the day before he came, when I didn't on Monday, when I didn't know he was coming, I bought two big packages of Oreos, and when he left on Saturday morning, they were gone. 
-hmm. He and his father think they're free. Mm -hmm. So I have to go back to the store. <laughs> but anyway, it was fun. It was great to see them. It was a really nice visit. He worked the whole time and, and the dogs were good and the kids, you know, Alex was good. And, and uh, yeah, we had a good time. And then the other good news is last week I went to see my medical oncologist. Um, I haven't talked about it a lot, but I was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2019. And I was very fortunate to have a lumpectomy. And then I had um, radiation. And so this is my five-year checkup. And my doctor said, everything is good. I had a bone density test and I, I have dense bones as well as dense boobs. <laughs> and he said, I'm released and I don't have to come back to him again. And I no longer have to take an astrazole. So that's really, really, I'm excited. Yeah. I'm really excited. But that that's the benefit for all of you who may be putting it off of having your yearly mammograms. My lump was not a hard one. The doctor mm -hmm. never felt it. And I didn't know it was there. And if I had not had a mammogram, I would not have known. So it's critical. Get your mammograms. Yeah. It's critical. Missy. I go in a couple of weeks. Missy, my... Missy, I <laughs> hope you had yours done and you schedule for next year. I know you don't like to schedule ahead. So anyway, that's that's our good news. And then now I have to get the bed made again uh -huh. <laughs> because Eric's oldest son, Andrew, my oldest grandson, is coming on Wednesday and he is staying through Monday. And he was telling me how this was a good weekend for him and everything. He kind of neglected to mention that he really wanted to come see the eclipse. Yeah. So anyway, he's coming to see the eclipse. Unfortunately, his plane out is at five o'clock. The eclipse is at three. And so we're watching the eclipse from the airport parking lot because I'm scared to death. The, there's going to be so many people here. The traffic will be terrible. We're only 15 minutes from the airport, but if the freeways are packed. So, but anyway, yeah. we're really looking forward to seeing him. We haven't seen yeah. him in a year. And for um, those who may not be in fever pitch zones, there yeah. is a full it's solar crazy. eclipse. And we will be in the zone, zone. of totality. Yep. Uh, so very exciting. It will turn from day into night and then back into day in a matter of minutes. So the entire... Well, I think this crosses a big swath of the United States and there's just excitement all the way across to see this. So oh, yeah. it should be really fun to see yep. a week from yep. Monday. Yes. Yeah. Three o'clock yeah. in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. So it'll be fun. We're yeah. going to the airport about one thirty or 2. And, and you're going to hang out in the And we're going to hang out in the parking lot. Yeah. That's the safest thing to do. It yeah. doesn't matter if I don't get home, but if he visits his plane, he's got classes yeah. the next day. Yeah. So, yeah. So think of us yeah. coming home or and watching him. Yeah. And then next weekend is our cross-stitch retreat. Yep. It's our two tall stitchers retreat uh, that we have once a year in Whitestown, Indiana. And we have a full house coming. Yes, we do. Looking forward to, what did you say, five or six new yep. attendees yep. and the rest from previous years. And my friend Beth will be coming up from Florida, staying with us. Dottie's um, coming from South Carolina. Yeah. Um, Cornhusker's coming come from, from Nebraska. Nebraska. Wendy's coming from Iowa. Yeah. We have people that travel a long way to see us because we're yeah. just so wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be a fun Yes, fun we're looking forward weekend. to that. Yeah. Give my grandson quality time with his grandfather. Mm -hmm. Works out yeah. really well. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's a busy time right yeah. now. <laughs> I think let's do this and then we'll switch okay. and do that. So okay. we have something to show. We thought since it's Easter, we would do something a little special and bring some of our Easter pieces and show you some previous finishes. You can go first. You've okay. more than I do. I brought a bunch of them. So my first one is called Primitive Egg by You and I and Friends. I don't know that this is still available. Um, I had it for a long, long, long time, and I kept thinking, oh, I should stitch it, I should stitch it. Was then, it on a free table or something? There's no price on it. No, I bought it oh. many, many years ago, oh, okay. I think. And I finally stitched it and then finished it as a bell pull. The funny thing is that I stitched it in 2017, but I stitched the wrong year initially. And, like, I was about to FFO it, and I looked at it and thought, I don't think stitched it in that year and I looked and sure enough I put pictures on Instagram and everything nobody bothered to say like hey you have the wrong year <laughs> so I had to go back at the end but <coughs> this was a really fun stitch I got this from Ackfeld wire um I thought that was super cute hanger and it was a very fun stitch so that is my primitive egg I don't think it came from a retreat. Yeah. I can't imagine where it would have come yeah. from at that stage because we hadn't gone to any stitch retreats. Yeah, go ahead. This oh. one, I have no idea what the pattern is. I stitched this in 1992, <laughs> the year that I graduated high school. And um, I couldn't do French knots at the time. So you did all the French knots in the bunny bum. Yep. 
Um, and then you took it to Turrentine's, like, Turrentine's yes. uh, which was a local framing shop. Wonderful frame shop. And she framed it just like it was. The mat and the lace came in the pattern. And I think, yeah, there's a little bow there. Those all came with the pattern. Um, it's stitched on an Ada. I'm going to guess probably 18 count. Um, and he's just so cute. I hang it by the front of my door every year for Easter. He's adorable. Yeah. The next one I didn't bring the pattern for, but this was a Lizzie Kate, I think a boxer was the name of them. And this was the Easter one. And I stitched this many, many years ago. And did I, I might've framed this one myself. Did you put these on the bed? Uh, probably not. No, Maybe somebody frame it. framed it. I don't remember this one. Um, when I finished it, it has a year on it. 2007. Yeah. So I you was busy with it. two little kids back then. I did not frame this, but I, who knows where I had it framed. Yeah. It's everybody's guess. Yeah. Um, but that was just a fun one. One of the old boxer kits and it's stitched on a linen. Probably was in the kit and probably with the call for threads. I'll go next. Okay. I have, I have one. Um, I have more, but um, she told me, she told me on the way up that she was doing it. So I was able to pull this out. I have a couple others, but I just, I'm not in the mood for digging. But you know, I like the letters and this is the seasons and this is spring. So I don't know. What can we Little show? Little house needleworks. Little works. house needleworks. Spring, spring ABC. Yeah, spring ABC. So yeah. it does have bunnies in it. So it qualifies as Easter. Yeah. And uh, I love doing these. Yeah. They're so much fun. And Liz uh, from Fancy Works uh, framed this for me, and she framed it so that it's got the the little doohickeys on the back. I can take it out, and I can put each each one in every time. I don't have to have that because the frame was not expen was not cheap. But now that I can put the fourth, four things. and soon it'll be five yeah. things in there, made it very reasonable. This is another oh, one I cute. don't know the pattern. I think this maybe did come from a free table. This is a little needle roll. It's a little bunny and it has a couple of um, charms on it. Oh, how cute. And is I remember I stitched this when I was sick one year. My daughter and I both got the flu. And you know when you get the flu and you're starting to feel better, but you're not ready to leave your house? I sat and stitched this teeny tiny bunny mm. when I was cute still feverish. <laughs> but I think it turned out okay. And then the last ones are Mill Hill kits. Oh no, not the last ones, the next to last ones. And I have still the Mill Hill packages so I can tell you which ones they are. So this is Esther Bunny. I think it's fine. Oh yeah, I think so. Yeah. Esther Bunny is from Spring Bouquet 2. <laughs> what are they up to now? Probably like 14 oh, or something. Um, so that's Esther, and then we have her friend, brother, cousin, Significant partner, other. <laughs> Benjamin Bunny. Yes. He's so cute with those little carrots. And he is also from Spring Bouquet too. And then I have this one, which doesn't even have a number on it. This is Seasonal Sampling Counted Glass Bead Kit. And it just is pastel bow. So that's an old one. Yeah. I don't see. Let me see. A year. It might be. That's a really old one. On the pattern. Yeah. And then the last one, I think this one's the cutest. This is from Spring Bouquet 4. And this is Carrot Cart. And there's the little bunny in his carrot cart. Oh, he's cute. So those were all very fun. This has stuff. On, oh, it's just stuff okay. on the back of it. Um, nineteen ninety one. Oh yeah, that's that was the the egg it was nineteen ninety one. So those are fun. I actually have never figured out how to display these. I was going to ask you if you had a tree or something. No, I need a little Eastery tree. Yeah. So um, if anybody knows where to get one. Yeah, I've been looking for note. one Drop for us years. I don't want one that looks like a Christmas tree. I want one that looks like, like a lace. spring tree. Like, just a little yeah. tree without any buds on yeah. it. Yeah. Just some branches. Yeah. But not a Christmas tree. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. Um, and then my last one, this is a Val stuff pattern. 
thought you can tell by all the stickers on it. I got this in the <laughs> sale room at Persnickety, our local shop, long before we were working there. And this one also is stitched on some kind of linen. Who knows what? I stitched this one in 2018 and um, had a really good time stitching this. That was really fun stitching. It, this was like a precursor to my Biscornu days. Oh, yeah. That would make a super cute Biscornu, it would. actually. It would. Yeah. So, um, and I finished it as a cube finish. I think this might have been my first cube finish. And I used the tutorial from Vana, and then I put some ribbons around it. And this was before I knew you should get ribbons with wire. Oh. Um, so they get a little mushed, mushed but I still, still like looks them. Good. And uh, I really like this finish. So those are some of my previous Easter stitches. Mm. Neat. All right. All right. Shall we go back to questions? Yes. Oh, I didn't add up. Why uh -oh. didn't you tell them what our question was like? Our add. question was, what is your favorite motif to stitch? And um, uh, our our calculator here is not working well. <laughs> she, she was too busy stitching this morning and taking Jenna to the well, airport. Well, I just did um, stats this morning. Yeah. Start with the big ones. Um, this was, it, it always is fun to see what people oh, yeah. say. Yeah. Uh, Winner by landslide was houses, buildings, barns. Wow. People love stitching houses. Wow. Please hold because you'll hear people either love or don't love um, <laughs> stitching houses. That was by far the runaway winner. Um, How many? Uh, 25 people <laughs> said they like stitching houses or barns or buildings. Um, yeah. Next up was your favorite words letters alphabets ah, with 13. Okay. a lot of people enjoy those as well and then behind that with 10 was flowers or floral items mm -hmm. um so i broke out animals if we did all animals that probably would have been close to the houses but we had nine people who said animals in general and then we had six people who said birds. A lot of people like to stitch birds. Um, then you'll like Robin Pickens' new designs. The, yes. The uh, cardinal and the... The seasonal Robin. Yeah, stitches. the seasonal ones. Yeah. They're really pretty. Um, two cats, two bugs or insects, uh, one bears, one bunnies, one horses, and one butterflies. Um, behind that group was six people who said they don't have a favorite, nothing specific or nothing came to mind. Then tied behind that in fifth for, with five votes was Snowmen, one of your favorites. And that was also tied with Quaker motifs. So a couple of people commented on stitching Quaker motifs. Um, then from there we get to the onesie twosies. Oh, let me, so three votes was Hearts. I like, I like stitching hearts too. Mm -hmm. They're mm -hmm. fun. Um, and then we get to the onesies, twosies. We have other things mentioned where Santa, Christmas, snowflakes, flags, uh, samplers, quilt squares, geometric motifs, <coughs> wagons, um, anything small, people, water or ocean related things, baskets and landscapes. So I think we covered just about everything yeah. in the cross-stitch yes, world. We did. Um, our common threads from this time is people, several people commented about, I collect a lot of these, which may or may not line up with their stitching. Like one person said she collects a ton of snowman and snow stuff, but she doesn't like stitching white. So she doesn't actually <laughs> stitch that oh, many. Wow. Um, and... Other people commented on like, they've just collected a lot, but they don't stitch as much as they collect. Uh, and then the second thing was, we have very strong feelings about houses and letters. We either love them or hate them. There are very few people <laughs> who were like, ho-hum about, or they liked them both or hated them both. Yeah, it was funny. Some people really do not like houses and some people really do not like letters and alphabets. So um, I thought that was funny, yeah. but it kind of lines up because I think there's all these things that were mentioned show up in our cross stitch patterns a lot. A lot of houses, a yeah. lot of letters, a yep. uh, lot of animals, flowers. So yeah, yeah it was kind of fun. It's like you're living in my room or her yeah. room. Yeah. yeah, we stitched most of those things. Yep. Yeah.
Okay. Yep. So that was our question of the day. Yeah. And then Marlene and Cindy asked, what is the pattern and how large was the split four patch quilt? So that was your quilt behind us yes. in the last episode. Which I'm going to show you later. Okay. It's done. Uh, I don't remember. It's like a throw. It it's was not like a, a lap size, size. A lap size, yeah. probably. Probably um, similar to this yeah, size. Yeah, about that yeah. size. Yeah. Whatever size that is. Maybe. We didn't measure. Four by five. Four, not six. Sixty uh, inches, fifty. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Lap size. It's it's not a it's not a, a twin. Not a twin. It's too small. For, I I throw it over the back of the couch. Yeah. I have several of that pattern. Not of that, but I have several of that size. That size. And, yeah. And then Janie wanted to know who was the designer for the snowman that I had shown, and that was counting puddles. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the stitching owl wanted to know what do we do when fabric is surged. We pray a lot that it doesn't come undone. No, no. Uh, sometimes we'll just stitch it ourselves and uh, use a you know a, a zigzag stitch on the um, regular machine. Or the other thing you can do is you can get painter's tape or medical tape and tape the edges. Yeah. Um, I don't really worry about I, it. Though, we haven't had that much because trouble. Because I think we don't stitch in hand. We both right. stitch, we stitch in a frame or a, a Q snap hoop, or a hoop. Snap. Yeah. And I think. It's rare that I have a fabric that frays enough that I have to do something about it. Right. If I do, then I take it down and zigzag it on the yeah. machine. Yeah. 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 I'm working on a, a a model for the shop right now, and whoever cut it, I wonder who, um, <laughs> was a little zigzaggy with the. But as they come up, I just trim them off. And, yeah. Uh, I'm having some issues with it anyway, which I'll explain later. Yeah. But um, yeah, we don't really worry about that. We haven't no. had that much of a problem. No. Unless it's a really loose weave, then you may have to go back and zigzag mm -hmm. it or tape it. But painter's tape works well. Yeah. And you can peel that off very easily. And, uh, or just cut it off at the end if you don't need yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you mm -hmm. just put a narrow piece of, of yeah. painter's tape on, yep, yeah, that would work too. Okay, well, that's all the questions we had. All right. Well, shall we get into whips? Sure. I have a bunch of whips. Okay. I don't think I have... I have one new start that I'm not showing because it may or may not be an exchange case for retreat, depending oh. on whether or not it gets finished. <laughs> oh, okay. but that's my only new start. But I have bunches of whips. Yeah, okay. Um, whips, let's see. Okay, I'll show you. Um, again, this is Little House Needleworks, Needleworks ABCs. And I've been working on this, and I took it off because I started something else and I needed the... Um, the the Q snaps, but here it is. Where's the? I got down to the. I did make progress on this from last time because I wanted to make sure that you guys could see something. Can you? Oh, my is killing me. Yeah. Um. So I got down. I love it, man. Down to the K, and and then I decided I would stop working on it because I needed to start on the store model that I was doing, but uh, that's going very quickly, and I'm really enjoying it. And do you know? You don't know about the fabric on this. Yeah, I used to. Um, I don't know if it's still on there. It was. It's in the bag. It's. Oh. I think it's like a. It's definitely a linen. Hang on. It's a thirty-two count. Yeah. It says linen. Confederate gray linen, and that may be it. That may be because it. Because yeah. this was a. This was. Oh, this is the one I got from Beth. Yeah. So it was with the fabric and the floss and everything. So yeah. That's that one. All right, my first whip will make a liar out of me because <laughs> I said, hopefully next time you see this, it'll be finished. I guess I said, hopefully not, definitely. Uh, it's not finished. Bluebird sampler. I think I only stitched a couple, honestly, like a couple of stitches on this since you saw it last. I am stitching this on 32 count Lugana um, called Amber Waves and... I added in a little bit more down here. Oh yeah, you didn't when finish I stitched the house. last We're week. Finish no, I haven't decided what I'm doing for the shutters in the door yet, yeah. or the rest of the door. Um, so yeah, it's still coming along slowly but surely. This is my Park City needle minder from my friend Beth. She took, I think, a sticker. I don't know why it, it's wonky behind, but she took a sticker and made a needle minder out of it, which is very cute. Yeah. yeah. So a little bit on that. I'll still be plugging along on that one. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, this is um, from Stitchy Pros. It's Cardinal's Promise. It's the, the uh, store sample that I'm, I'm working on. And unfortunately, when I cut the fabric, I 
didn't cut it big enough, I don't think. So I'm I'm hoping I need to do a lot of counting. I stopped working on it the other night. I got this far. I love doing the border. It's really, really neat. And I'm going to do some serious counting and see if I can wind up with maybe a half an inch on this end and a half an inch on the bottom. Otherwise, I've got some thinking to do. But anyway, yeah. so I'm really enjoying it. But it would be what nicer. What are you stitching it on? It's on um, 32 count witch elk. Um, was it smoky gray or something like it's that? It's a Lugana. Yeah. It's a Lugana. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We had it in the, in this store. And what kind of threads are you using? I'm using DMC. Yeah. Called okay. for. Nice. Called for DMC. Yep. Excellent. So the colors are really pretty. Yeah. It's really yeah. pretty. Perfect on the gray. That's what they had it done on. Okay. Different piece. Same story. Didn't stitch very much on this, but I touched it. So you're going to see it. This is... <laughs> Uh, Lizzie Kate Green Flippets. I am stitching this as a stitch along with Allison at Mrs. Arizona Family Zoo Shares. If you have not seen hers lately, please go look. She is actually making progress on hers. She's got it, I think, just about halfway done. Um, I don't even have this block halfway done. <laughs> <laughs> So I just put a little bit more in the little girl. I think I did her hair and her face or her face and the start of her shirt since last time. I, I just touched this one evening um, and didn't get a ton of stitching time in. So slowly but surely I'm making progress on that one. Okay, and then this is the little stitching bag that we both picked up at market from Shepherd's Bush. And I was doing really, really well. I was so excited because I was gonna have a finish to show you. And then as I was putting it together, as I was finishing up, um, there was a leaf down here and it was run real high. Oh. So I had to take like this leaf over here. So I had to take it out and I just haven't been able to get back to it again with between family and family. doctor's visits and God knows what else. Oops. I am, oh, that's, that's part of it, yeah. that's part of it. But yeah, so I'm close. So hopefully I'll have it finished by next time. Yeah. It's, there's not much to do. I was working on the back it's stitching really and everything and I was so pleased with myself. And then I realized and I was one, the leaf. one row off. Yeah. It was one row high and I had yeah. to take it out. So it's very cute. Yeah. It'll get done soon. <laughs> I tell myself. My next one is by T.A. Smith's Designs, My Forest. And this is my Wednesday night stitch. I stitched on it while we're watching Chicago Fire, whether I'm with my daughter or talking to her afterwards on the phone. And you guys, I've made good progress, and I think I'm going to finish this one by the end of April. So here is where I am. This is being stitched with watercolors, water lilies by Karen. It's a silk thread, and it's a variegated green. And you can see it is variegating all over the place. Yeah, it really um, is. It's really getting much lighter in yeah, the next yeah. um, piece wow. that I cut. So we'll see oh. what it looks like at the end. But I'm I'm pretty close. I think I counted at the end of my stitching on Wednesday. And I think I have six trees left. Three of them are big trees. Um, but still six so trees too big. and then the rest of the border. And I think I'm off a row on that border. So I've kind of stopped there. I'm going to fill in the rest of the trees and then we'll figure out that border. Yeah. But that can easily, I can easily go out yeah. a stitch and it won't make much yeah. difference. So there is my forest. All right. I have two more whips to share. This one is Harry Styles by Space Cat Cross Stitch Patterns. Uh, you can see my computer my printer went crazy when I printed it, uh, but you get the idea. Giant white pants. I took this with me to Virginia because I thought it would be really easy to work on white pants while I was chatting with my friends, and I was correct. Um, I am stitching this on, I'll tell you in a minute, but there's Harry and his white pants. I am, I would say, two thirds or three quarters of the way on this pant leg. And then I was like, why did I start the skinny pant leg first? <laughs> so now I'm doing the thicker pant leg. Um, and I just had to take a break from the pants for a little while. So I started to bring down the outlining and I finished a little bit more on his body. You got um, a hand done for backstitch or something. Backstitch. You didn't have the yeah. hands done. The other yeah, I need to fill that in. Um, but I decided to stitch a little bit of the black outline. Um, so that is coming along well. I'm stitching it with the called for DMC threads. 
and it is on Forbidden Fiber Company 28 Count Lugana Vintage Poinsettia. And this is a great it's fabric. A pretty color. I really like it. Um, oh, and the other thing I did, if you've been watching for a while, you know that I struggle to stitch on higher counts when I'm not home with my magnifier and my good light. Oh, we're and cover. I bought readers, 2.0 readers. They're great. Ah! So I had heard another floss tuber mention it and I went to the drugstore and I tried on a bunch of readers and um, wow, I probably could have gone with 1.75, but I didn't know in the store. Mm -hmm. So I can now see the holes in the Lugana <laughs> to stitch. <laughs> On Lugana, away from home. So that's pretty oh, exciting. Guess and the who's light, getting old. The light was good, but not excellent. So guess who's getting old? Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh. Um, and my last whip is Mad for Plaid by Hands On Design, and I'm working on this spring one. And I stitched on this the last couple of days and made a lot of great progress. This is. Won't be a March finish probably because I will work on some. I'll work on my retreat piece um, tonight, but this will be a finish early in April. This is being stitched on 32 count charcoal Lugana with the called for Cosmo threads, which I've mentioned before, but I love them. I think they're great. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. I, they're probably honestly about the same as DMC. I just know I'm stitching on something yeah. different, but. I just really like them. Wow. And I am I did thread drops for the first time. I've never done thread drops. Um, and I really like the ease of it because you just pop your needle in there and pull out one strand. Hmm. And it's kind of quick and kind of easy. So um, oh. I'm enjoying it. So this one I will definitely get back to. Did you buy that as a kid that you got the Cosmo? Where'd you get the Cosmo? I from? bought the Cosmo at Acorns and Threads when I That's went there right. last okay. summer. Okay. Yeah. 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 They had the kit and or the, the thread pack. And I thought, well, that would be a great way to try Cosmo. Yeah. Because I didn't want to get into it all. Yeah. Um, but that way was perfect. Yeah. Unfortunately you don't carry it at the store because of space limitations. Yeah. But um Yeah. So that's all wow. my Whips and new starts. No yeah. finishes for me. None for me. I was, like I said, I was hoping I had the bag done, but then somebody didn't count properly. So I don't. Um, I have one FFO. This is, I turned it around so she couldn't see it. <gasps> oh, how cute. This is Snow Love by Country Cottage Needleworks. I don't know how to hold it. Oh my, is that the way to hold that. it? And I stitched this back in 2018. How I had to look it up to see. I finished it in July of 2018. The first year that I did Whip Go, I started 15 projects, yeah. 15 days in a row. And this was one of them. And I finished it in July. And it was my fifth finish of the 15. So wow. I cranked through them. I did wow. a lot of smaller projects yeah, on still. purpose. Um, so this one, I... But six years ago, the kids were still fairly young. Yeah. Yeah. So you were still, but, you know, you were, you didn't have, you had a lot of time devoted to them too, whereas as they got yes, older. Yes. I would but, say when I did Whip Go that year, there were some nights that I literally put in like 10 stitches yeah, as yeah. my start. Um, but then I got back to them pretty quickly. So this was one of the pieces that I shared with Michelle at Penny's Daughter Shares when we were first talking about the FFO challenge and I didn't quite know how I wanted to finish it. I liked the arch and she was the one who recommended doing it as a stand-up and I thought that was a great idea and I watched and re-watched Helen's um, tutorial on stand-ups and I watched Vanna's tutorial on stand-ups and I think I did okay. It's a little yeah. bit, it's a little more oval on the top, but then it has a round bottom. Yeah, so if I did cute. it differently, I would do an oval bottom. You can practice on mine. I think, uh, have you stitched this? I have it to stitch. Okay. Well, yeah, sure. <laughs> Whenever you finish it, you just let me know. I think that's the only thing I'd change. Instead of a round bottom, I would choose an oval bottom. Um, but I made my own cording and with DMC and 
put it all around and I think this will be super cute to yeah. put out in the winter. Oh yeah, it's adorable. So that is Snow Love by Country Cottage. That is my sixth FFO for the year. Very good. Yeah, which is kind of funny because last year when we started the FFO challenge, I have finished five things in January. So definitely have slowed down a little bit. Yes. So. But you had a lot of things waiting to be finished. I had a lot, and, and that was the priority yeah, for me last yeah. year. Whereas this year, I'm trying to do a little bit broader variety of things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you had a lot of finished pieces that needed to be FFO'd. Mm -hmm. So that was 50. easy for you to yeah. get in there and do yeah. a few. So now I'm down in the 30s, I think. Wow. Um, should I talk about Whipco? I don't think we have it on the agenda, yeah. but I can talk about it real sure, quick. Sure, Bridget. Um, so I am doing Whipco with Jesse Marie Does Stuff, and I have my printout here, and I don't think we talked about it in March. I, I think last time we filmed, I just knew the numbers. Um, I didn't touch them. Did, didn't do a thing <laughs> with them. So my March numbers were number one, which was embroidery. Um, I didn't have anything specific like a start, a finish, an FFO. Yeah. I don't have any kind of in progress. Um, but I didn't pull out any embroidery. So hopefully at some point this year, I'll pull yeah. it out and I'll knock that one off. And then my number 10 was work on a quilt or a bag kit. And I didn't touch. I literally don't think I touched my sewing no, machine all much. No, it worked at all. You were, yeah. you were gone. I was gone. And it was yeah. a busy time. It was busy. Yeah. So March is a bust, although maybe I'll make them up later. So for April, the numbers 18 and 21 were called. And number 18 is mom's choice. So she is going to tell me what to do. And then number 21 for April is FFO and older finish. So I think I have on here FFO a 2023 stitch, but this would be something from before yeah. 2023. And I have yeah. plenty of those to choose from still. So that one, hopefully I will get to in April. Yeah. So mom. I told her this a little while ago, so Ten she could think ago. about it. No, I <laughs> thirty told minutes yesterday. ago. Yesterday. Oh we have, yeah, I've slept since okay. then. <laughs> barely. <laughs> do you know yet, or do you want to wait till the end of the episode? Do you want to keep thinking? No, I I have a thought. Okay. Uh, when she went to market, she bought the nine two four pattern. Three two four. Three two four. Okay. That has three hundred and twenty four colors in it. Yes. And I I was watching Helen D this morning, and she started on hers. And I think that would be a neat one for you to start. Okay, so that's my challenge. Start three, two, four. Yeah. Okay. But the interesting thing is the way she did it, instead of pulling all 300 colors at one time, she pulled like five. Yeah, that's did what five, I'll do too. And then, yeah. yeah, she started down at the bottom. She said a lot of people started at the top, but mm -hmm. like each motif is when you're done, you're done. Yeah. You know, you so. You just use the color one. Yeah. So do I need to give you a number? How many do you need to get done? Or, you know, two or three count? No. We're just, I'm, I don't even know if I have fabric for this. So oh. that'll be the first thing is finding fabric and then getting it kind of pulled together. Yeah, it's 36 count. It's why I got antique white linen. Yeah. So did you buy any 36 count in market? Not white, oh, but I might okay. have some in my stash. Okay. And if not, I know where to find it. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> that's my challenge. Start three, two, four. And do you know a lot of people started this on March 24th? 24th. Uh -huh. Some at 3 24 in the, in the afternoon. afternoon or 3 I was in, in Chicago on March 24th, so I was busy walking eight miles that day. <laughs> <laughs> they got the $5 bus pass, but they paid for it. But we they still got walked done. eight they, miles yeah, and walked, then six walked, miles walked, the walked. next day. So, that's your WIPCO update. Hopefully, more to come in. It, hopefully I'll do better in April than I did in March. And I didn't do, I keep saying I'm going to do it and it's March and I haven't done it yet. Yeah, that's okay. I've got a lot of other things I've been working on. So yeah. mostly this room, oh, I walked in here this morning. I was like, whoa. Okay. <laughs> I think you say that every time. I you know, film. I know. <laughs> okay. Um, we have a little bit of happy mail and then a little bit of haul to share. Yeah. You want to talk about this one? Okay. Um, we got this lovely note from Cynthia, who is from Chicago, and she came into the shop with her husband. It was a delight to meet you, Cynthia, and your husband. And I'm sorry, as I said before, I don't remember his name, but she gave us all these patterns. Yes. And one of them I have already stitched, and she has too. And she thought one of you might enjoy stitching it. Yeah. We just, it was adorable. I did it as a bell pull, just like that. And it's so cute. 
And um, so, yeah, and this one actually comes with the buttons with and the the, buttons. everything. So, yeah, yeah it's, it's a neat one. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, so some of those will be giveaways. And some yep. of those we're going to keep. But yes. thank you again, Cindy. It was delightful to meet you. She never made it to tomorrow's heirlooms. They I did not. had to change their plans. So she uh, never made it there. So I hope yeah. you didn't go looking for her because that was Cynthia's shop. But uh, And then I received a chock full priority ma mail package from Stacy and Heidi, friends of ours on Instagram. And I feel like we might have met Heidi at the shop. Yes. Yeah. She's I the one that so. came for the um for the retreat. Cynthia and uh, I mean Cynthia. Um Priscilla and Chelsea. Priscilla and Chelsea's yeah. retreat. Yes. Yeah. Oh hi so, Heidi. Um so they sent us a pack full of goodies wow. for us or to give away. So we will go through those as well. There's definitely a few things in here that I will wow. enjoy stitching and I think you as well. And then some things that will be great giveaways. Yes. So thank you There's a lot. very We're, much. It, that's she, so uh, generous. Oh my gosh. Yes. Stacy said um, that she didn't think a gnat's eyelash could fit in the package. <laughs> 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 that she oh, yeah. and the postal worker like had to shove it all together to close it. And I agree with you. I don't think a gnat's eyelash could have fit in there. Thank you so much. We will enjoy yes. uh, going through those and picking out things to stitch. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I haven't seen it yet. She just showed it to me today we have yeah it. i just brought yeah. it today and then let's see um Hello. teresa in our stitch group was going through her stuff and she gifted me uh -huh. this guy isn't he cute that's cute so yeah so you know he's got my list along with ten thousand other things he's got legs oh that's funny yeah so he's i think like he's a, a stand, up stand up and then the legs, the hang legs off. hanging down yeah. that is so cute isn't he cute yes so yeah i'll be working on him and then um, last month, remember we were showing stuff we got from market and I couldn't find my stuff. Well, I had taken it and put it in a smaller bag, which was sitting right next to the big bag, but I was not playing a game. So anyway, this was a, a book, a key ring we got from Stitchy Pros. And on the back, it says, um, live, laugh, frog. It's really mm -hmm. cute. That, that was a giveaway. And then I also got this uh, New Jersey needle miner because I'm originally from New Jersey. And then also uh, Terry and Cindy from, uh, Terry, uh, Terry and Jamie, Jamie from Cornhusker State Stitchers, who uh, we will see next week. You can yell at me then, guys. They made these for us, and Jennifer had hers, and of course mine, I couldn't find. But this is mine, and you can see it's got a snowman in it and snowflakes and everything. And it's so pretty. I just love it. I love it. And I actually made sure that it was out so I could find it again. Yeah. So thank you, guys. It's, I love it. And then this morning... Someone said, close your eyes and put out your hand. And my kids are tra trained when they go any place, they bring me a magnet. And my refrigerator is so covered, I don't have any more. But this year I got a new front door. And guess what? It's metal. <laughs> so the inside of the back door is now getting covered with magnets. So Jennifer and Jenna brought me this one from the Illusion Museum that they went to. And actually, Eric brought me some from Japan, which um, maybe I'll try and remember to bring up next time because two of them are pieces of sushi, which look real. Oh, I have to look at oh, them. Oh, yeah, you have to look at and them. And I brought you one from Charlottesville, too. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's so on the front door. Been very magnetized. Yeah. Recently. Yeah. So I have tons of magnets, tons. I know when we moved up here, our mover was so nice because he took them all off our refrigerator in Houston and bagged them up and everything. And when he got here, he had stopped overnight on the way. And he brought me a, an Indiana magnet. He said, now that you're living in Indiana, you need an Indiana magnet. So that was kind of neat. <laughs> and, oh, yeah, I got that too. Paul, uh, you might remember I started Spooky Fence, but I couldn't finish it because I didn't have the buttons. So I got the button pack for that. So hopefully that will be a finish soon. And I got that button pack too. Okay. Because I'm going to do you're it. You're going to stitch it. And yeah. then I also got a pack of miscellaneous yellow buttons. And these will be used on the Lizzie Kate Sal piece, the greenies. There are either hearts or flowers that are in that piece. I can't remember which one. But this has hearts and flowers. So I picked those up right after we filmed last time. And that and 324 are my only haul for the moment. Um, so then we'll go on to quilting, embroidery, crochet, and knitting. Um, for embroidery, I made these for Jen's friends when she went to Maryland, uh, Virginia. And I made one for each of them and for Kristen's twin girls. Mm -hmm. And then also I made 
the, these coasters for the princess's mentors at school. So she asked me, she actually made them. I mean, I set them up and everything, but she, she, was a, she was the one pushing the buttons. So I got those done and then I have my quilt. We won't open it up or anything, but I wanted to show you that it is bound this time. You did time. get the binding There finished. are no clips, no Yay. clips. And last night I, I stitched out the, I embroidered the label and I didn't get up here in time to put it on this morning, but I will get that put on and then um, it will go off in the mail, maybe even this week, which would be shocking. Oh wait, I have more haul. Sorry, I forgot oh. this. Okay, so continuing with the haul. Um, these beep, are... beep, beep. <laughs> oh, this is mine, probably. Or did you get it too? I don't know. Okay, it was in the thing, maybe it's yours. I might be yours. Uh, from Chantel 141, these are the paddles to go with the um, pattern hands on from design. Hand Desi Hands On Design. Gather Wildflowers. Yes. Yeah. And then this is the one from Hands On Design to go with um, Spring Folk. Spring Folk, yes, which is on the back. It shows here. Done. And we saw that at market. It was so pretty. So, yes, yeah, so we got those. We meant to go back to Chantel's shop on the last day. We just didn't get there. And we were halfway through Nashville when we realized we forgot <laughs> to go back. <laughs> okay, so this is Spring Quaker, which came out of the folder. So uh, it's yours, I guess, if that's yeah. yours. Okay, that's yeah, yours. I think so. And then I also got the Patriotic Quaker. And I've done the, the what is it, the Winter or the Christmas Quaker. You've seen that one. It's, yeah. it's around here somewhere. And then um, this was uh, Counting Puddles. And I just, you know, I can't help it. I love these snowflakes. Well, the good thing is and you got so many blue fabric. Yeah, fabrics. I got so much yeah. blue fabric in trying to for the tree that I now have enough blue. And then I was, my vet is wonderful. He was so nice when we had to put coal down and everything. It was his day off. He came in and he's just, and when I came back with Cindy, he gave me a big hug, asked me where the eggnog was, but also gave me a big <laughs> hug. And so I found this from imaginating. And so I don't know when I'll start it, but I will get that and do that for him because he's nice. just the sweetest man. Sweetest yeah. man. They're so, all yeah. great. Either. They are. They yeah. are. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. So that's it. Oh, no. Wait, wait. Hey, hey. <laughs> uh, well, oh, I have yeah. crochet. While you're getting oh, okay. that, I'll show. So I did do a little bit of work on my calm cowl. And last time you saw it, I think I just had three or four rows. Now I have like, I don't know, 12 rows. Oh, so it's come coming on. along. I've done the kind of the accent piece here, and then I'm building over here, and I think I have to do 37, yeah, 37 rows like like that. Um, and I've done, I'm to the row 13. So a long way of kind of pretty straight, easy crochet. So I'm trying to pull it out when I feel the mood and do a couple rows at a time. So I can keep making progress on it. And this is a cow I started several years ago. Hannah and I went on a yarn crawl wow. way before COVID. So it's two-tone and it's the, the green I've had done for a long time. The, the gold is a really neat pattern. And for some reason, I was just off. I can't tell you. I probably would have had it finished for all the times I've taken it out and redone it. But there's like 265 stitches. So I'm really paying attention this time and it's going well. And uh, Ooh, that's cool. yeah, it's going to be pretty. I like the, yeah. there's a lot of variegation in yep. the green. Yep. It goes from a real light green, almost a spring yeah. green to a dark green. That's and nice. Yeah, that's the gold. That's, yeah. That's the green. Do you have the pattern? Oh, that's the green. Oh, there's the, um, it's the green. It's called, here's the pattern. It's called, it's from, it's My Knitted Heart, I believe. Yeah. I don't have a Doesn't picture. Doesn't have a name. I, well, I, I photocopied this. Oh. So that I had it to work with. But, okay. So I'm not sure. Nice. But, yeah. So I've been working on that quite a while, and and um, I just decided it was time to pull it out again and, and start working on it. Good. I want to get it. I'd like to get something done out of my knitting pile besides yeah. socks. Yeah. So, yeah. So I've been nice. working on that. And, um, yeah. Good. So. All right. We're going to pause and clear the table, <coughs> and then we'll come back and share plans or question and a giveaway. We're back. Okay. What are your plans for the next couple of weeks? Well, um, Andrew's coming on Wednesday. I have a doctor's visit Wednesday afternoon. I have a retreat on Friday. Yeah. And uh, and then an eclipse on Monday and an airport trip. So I'm going to be busy you this are. week. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I don't think we have we had several doctor visits the last couple of weeks in addition to everything else. So 
I think we're hopefully we'll clear a for a while. Off. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hoping. Yeah. And uh, so yeah, and then I really want to work on everything. Um, I, today, <laughs> I would really like to get the label on this quilt and get that boxed up yeah. so I can mail that off to my friend who's not expecting it. And she doesn't watch, so I know she doesn't, you know, it's mm -hmm. okay to talk about it. Mm -hmm. And even if and she did, it would, she wouldn't know. She yeah. wouldn't think it's for her. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. And um, had a good time. I will say I had a good time with Jenna when she was home. Yeah. We went to Stitch Group together and then she hung around for the day. She did a few little things for me. I roped them all into helping me when they're here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As you should. Which yeah. which helps a lot, yeah. a lot. But uh, yeah, so I don't know, maybe things will slow down, ha, ha, ha. Huh, and then we have another retreat we're going on in the end of May. Yeah, quilt retreat. A quilt retreat. Yes. And so I need to start thinking about what I'm going to do there. Yeah. And maybe Susan's quilt I'll work on. I'll get yeah. pre-cut. I'd like to get some pre-cutting done. Me too. That oh, and I helps. have some bags I'd like to finish, project bags, before retreat this week. So not much. Not much. Yeah. yeah. They're partially done. I have um, theater tickets Thursday night for Broadway in Indianapolis. I'm going to see Hades Town for the first time. Looking forward to that. And our retreat this weekend, the Eclipse. Um, Beth's coming in. You got to do an airport run. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and then the next two weekends after that are haircuts and then prom. So oh. my son's prom will be three weeks from now. Wow. So maybe the next time we film, we'll see. Um, got him all set up with his suit. So he is ready to go. Look, very much looking forward to it. So yeah, it's going to be a fun, fun spring. Yeah. Yeah. Busy, but fun. Yeah. And then Jenna will be home. She'll be home in about in, six weeks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It'll be quick. Yep. The last, last bit of school before summer. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. So <sighs> we thought we kind of missed the anniversary. We realized after we filmed last <laughs> time that that would have been our three year filming anniversary. We started on March, the beginning of March, three years ago. So oh. um, thanks to the generosity of so many of you, we have all these patterns and we pulled a couple of spring ones to um, give away today. So what you need to do for the giveaway is make sure you're subscribed to our channel and like this video, and then you're gonna leave the keyword for the item in, um, in the comments oh. that you leave, and we will pull a winner for our next video. So the first one is a JBW design. It's a really pretty spring basket, and the word for this will be basket. And you could really stitch this in any, any color. color yeah. She has it on the back. In a blue. In a blue with the French word for spring, printemps. So that will be a nice one. Um, the second one we have is spring gathering from scattered seed samplers. And this one goes with the Easter theme, has the Easter bunny with the basket. So we'll use the word bunny for this one. And then the third one is Be Mine from Stitching with the Housewives. And this one will take you a little further into spring. And for this one, we'll use the word beehive, all one word, beehive. I know, I think that's technically a skip, but that'll make it easier for comments. Um, so if you'd like to win any of those, please include those words in your comments and we'll yeah. draw for them on our next episode. And we really like when you make them in sentences. Yes. Because, you know, some people just write, you know, yes. basket. But then somebody else was like, I was out in the yard with my basket and I ran into a beehive. Well, and, and the funny thing is I forget, like, by the time I post the show and I'm off going in my week. Yeah. And then I see a comment come in and I'm like, what do they what mean? What do you mean your duck was running in the rain? You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it takes so, a while so for us to catch on. It's always fun to see what yes. you come up with. So. Yes. Yeah. So, so I think that's yeah. everything. Well, we need to oh, talk about our questions. Our question. Do you want to ask yes. our question? For our this question episode? is from Becky. Becky. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Becky. People have been sending in suggestions. That's the other thing. If you have anything you would like to hear what others are doing or how they handle something, uh, send us a note and we can use it uh, as our question of the week, a month, episode, whatever. <laughs> Now, uh, so anyway, the question this time is, how many projects do you usually take on a retreat? 
And if, you're, if you've ne never been or not planning to go on a retreat, how many projects do you work on in a week? Do you skip back and weekend. forth? Weekend. Yeah. Or do you uh, just uh, focus on one? So, Depends on my mood Yeah. if I'm home. I I'm, usually I, wind up working at a retreat. I'll take probably five. Oh, I take a ton. Yeah. And then I you work did. on two. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I generally switch after several hours or a day. Yeah. Depending yeah. on what I am. And I try and take something that's close to a finish so I can at least have a finished right. retreat. Right. Yeah. Oh, I know the other neat thing. I took some pieces in to be framed. Michael's oh, had a okay. great framing. Uh, their sale frames were 70% off. Nice. So I'm having three pieces framed for under $300. Oh, nice. Yep. And they're Can't wait to see. Pretty big. So yeah. Yeah. Um, I should have them back by the time we film next time. So you'll get to see them. I'll have some FFOs. Yay. Yay. Good. <laughs> all right. You want to that's, close this out? That's all. Yes. Thanks for, thanks for uh, joining us. If you're uh, returning, thanks for coming back. If you're new, we hope you'll come back again and hit the subscribe and the like button. And we look forward to seeing you next time for episode 54. And if you have any comments or anything, our email is twotallstitchers at gmail.com. Jen is on Instagram at Jen Quilter. I'm on Instagram as at Grand Stitches. I don't post as frequently as she does, but every once in a while I surprise people. And so um, we've enjoyed spending the time with you today. Uh, happy Easter to all of you. And uh, we wish you well. See you in three Talk weeks. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.